Hey guys, 420 Scene here. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope everyone watching is having themselves a super fire, super fly, stony day. Let me know what you're token on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop that fat like, subscribe, and today's video is sponsored by me. Become a VIP member today by clicking the Patreon card link in the upper right hand corner and be a part of the 420 experience. I like that little new intro. What do you guys think? One of our members in the comments section in one of my community posts asked a really good question so I figured I would feature it in today's video. Ozzy asked, can we have a conversation about bag seed pros and cons? It's not widely talked about since most people either get it from reputable breeders or do clones so any knowledge you can share with the rest of us is greatly appreciated and thanks for making great content. Thanks for the compliment Ozzy, I really appreciate it but before we answer this question be sure to check out our storefront so you can check out all the stuff that I use in my runs. Also be sure to follow us on IG at my online handle is going to be right down below and be sure to follow us on grow diaries link to that is going to be in the pin message right down below now that i think about it though like i feel like i haven't really talked about bag beans either ever or a long time ago i might have made a video talking about it so i think this is really good to ask and i want to talk about bag beans a little bit and then i'm going to share my experience with bag beans i feel like bag beans is one of the very first things people are curious about when they open one of their very first bags because everyone's bound to get a few sooner or later. Naturally, if you've never done this before, you can't help but get really excited because you think you just scored some super fire free beans. I mean, I feel like everybody gets hyped up. You never did this before. You get that like that first or second bag ever. You get them beans, you kind of save them. You're like, man, I might try these out real quick. The easiest way to break down bag beans is like talking about Forrest Gump's box of chocolates, like dead ass. You have no clue what you're going to get. You're pretty much getting genetics from whatever parent produced them and you could still getting an insane amount of variation as far as what you're gonna get like they might not even pop and even if they do pop you can get something that grows really slowly or you can get one that starts flowering like super quickly you can get a mix of male and females in there you can also get Hermes or you just might you just might get lucky and hit Willy Wonka's golden ticket and you got a good one so I mean it's pretty much a mixed bag by the way Ozzy this is just a really good question and towards the end of the question Ozzy was saying how nobody talks about bag beans because everyone just goes to a reputable breeder. Well, I mean, there's a reason for that. Us humans, we like to get what we pay for. We like to know what we're gonna get. That's just how we're built. For example, in my mind, I feel like if I go to a reputable breeder, I'll have the highest chance of getting females and I can just run with it. Like every time I go for feminized, bam, I get feminized. Like I've never had a problem with that, except maybe on one occasion. I ain't gonna throw any shade, but it was a Hermie. You guys know who I'm talking about, all you long time OGs. That's the thing, that's my logic behind it. You don't have to plan a whole bunch of shit just to see which one's gonna work. That's why people don't really like bag beans and the only ones that run them are beginners that don't really know too much about them just yet, just yet. But once you do, that's why a lot of people steer clear of them. Now, if you're dead set on trying to run some bag beans, you're gonna have to monitor your ladies really closely because it's very easy to not pay attention and then you have a whole bunch of males and females in there and if you let enough time pass by, essentially, you're fucked. So now that you have a pretty good idea idea about bag beans let me tell you a little story of mine now this is when I was first getting into it it's almost like a life story kind of thing I don't really know that much better so this is the first time just getting into it right I didn't know any better and one of my friends just threw a whole bunch of beans my way and I was super excited man I was so excited I thought they were all gonna be female and everything was gonna be groovy bro it's gonna be straight bliss and you know I feel embarrassed telling you guys this story kind of low-key because I was definitely wet behind the ears when I started and I didn't really know too much about anything when I started this venture but I found some soil in the backyard and it was like it was just really muddy and just awful terrible consistency I mean we're talking about the worst possible medium you could ever have your ladies in and that's what I did that's what I went with you know thinking back now I can laugh at it and share it with you guys so <laughs> you can laugh as well because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing I had a whole bunch of bag beans and I planted all of them put them in solo cups. I wanted to transport all those beans outside so I think I used like duct tape and taped all the cups together. Don't ask me why I did it but I think in my head I figured it would be the best way to transport them you know like so they're all together and not individual and I know guys I already know the comment section is about to get lit. I could have gone with a 72 cell germ kit, 32 cell germ kit. I get it. I was new. I didn't know shit. I own it. But I ended up transplanting all of them outside and a lot of them grew pretty decent <laughs> believe it or not. 
not. I think over half of them actually grew pretty decently, but I didn't check up on them as often as I should have. And remember how I told you in the beginning of the video that you need to really be looking out and monitoring your grow? Yeah, I kind of skipped that step. Just about most of them were males and whatever females were there, they all got pollinated and I was super pissed. It was not a fun time. And the only thing that made this less shitty was the fact that I actually had a few females that I stuck in my mom's garden without her knowing about it. I mean, she was pretty pissed when she found out there was a bunch of dank tucked in her garden, like just out in the open like that. By the way, my mom is not easily fooled. You can't put one over on her that easily. So I still said fuck it and I tried. And I just told her, I don't know where it came from. It must have accidentally threw a bunch of beans in the backyard, I don't know. I went with that, did it work, and not even close. She didn't even let me finish speaking, dude. The problem with me telling her that line of BS was the fact that they were topped and bushy and in a container. So it's like, I mean, what am I gonna say? The beans grew with the container attached to it. Do we just go with that, bro? But the point of the story was that most of them were male and I ended up getting nothing out of it. Of course, I should have been monitoring it a lot better, but you can still get lucky with bag beans. It's just the odds are always gonna be against you. So Ozzy, if you are watching this video, I finally had a discussion about bag beans and sharing my experiences using bag beans and actually feels good swinging down memory lane when I didn't really know much of anything and just how much I've progressed and how far I've come along. And guess what? I'm still learning today. It's not like I feel like I know everything and there's nothing left to learn. There's always something to learn and you can always get better. I can get better. You can get better. And that just goes for each and every one of us. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little discussion. Before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. And for only $11.99 a month, you get access to our VIP Discord community, a whole bunch of exclusive grow and smoke videos, one-on-one -on -one grow help, live streams, and a lot of other really cool stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. I'm going to have the link in the pinned message right down below and at the beginning of the video. And to everyone else, be sure to sub mash that like button and subscribe and most importantly turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i hope everyone has a great rest of their day and as always stay safe peace